and then put that away. That's the other game that I really want to, like, get through right now, because I've been waiting for this game for a really long time. If the volume's not, if the volume's too low on this one, tell me, because I think I might have to, I lowered it in-game, but I might have to raise it a bit. Yeah, I upload, um, I, I actually did that before, but I'm gonna keep doing it. I upload the streams almost immediately. I need a new, um, video editing software, though, because I actually just used, with the old ones, what I would do is I would just open Windows Movie Maker, like, cut the file in half to segment the games, and then, um, just upload those separately. But, uh, I don't think Windows 10 actually has that, so I actually need a real, like, video editing program now. I got recommended one on, on Twitter, and I'm going to check that out after the stream and see how that works out. Ugh, excuse me. So I'm going to play this on normal, too, because I don't want a hard time. And there's no voices in this game. Metroids, numerous incidents in the past have brought to light the highly destructive power of these lifeforms spreading fear across all known planetary systems. Hoping to secure peace in the galaxy, the Galactic Federation orders the extermination of the Metroid species. I was the best candidate for the job. Once again, I find myself standing alone the Metroid menace. What horrors await me within the depths of their homeworld? It's a good remix. Move that over. It's really hard to like not see this on the X on OBS as well because it's it mirrors it. How's the sound in this? Is this like okay? Like the the game's not too low, right? Um, if it is, I'll, I'll adjust some stuff. So this is a remake of Metroid 2 for Game Boy. I mean, I'm sure most people have already heard, uh, know that by now, and have heard of this game, and, and it's pretty unfortunate circumstances behind it and all that stuff. I mean, there's, it sucks what's happened to it, but, I mean, it's out at least, and we could play it. And it, it got an update in too, which is really nice. It got an update that fixed some glitches in, which I'm playing. This was built from the ground up over, like, a long period of time. I remember seeing the demo for this, I think in, like, 2005 or 6, no, no, 2008 or 9 was when, like, the original demo of it came out, and I was looking forward to it, and I'd actually thought it, like, just stopped being made, but apparently they've been working on it for 10 years, which is really nice, because the effort does show, because I've, I've watched, I've pretty much watched this whole game by now, because I saw uh, someone else stream it. Just recently. There was actually like a hidden path there that they didn't program in. Uh, how do I up point down? All right. What's really nice is how optimized this is for controls. Like it recognizes this Xbox controller immediately. It's got like a, a button dedicated for diagonal. It's got a lock button. It's got a button to auto uh, morph ball. It's pretty great. And it rumbles, too. It actually supports, the, like, the Xbox controller's rumble feature. Which, you know, like, a lot of a lot of games, like... They would not think of implementing that. And it's also nice, because this is the only time I've gotten the test out. Okay, let me try to get a health refill. Yeah. This is the only time I've actually been able to test out the rumble feature on this controller. So far. Which works better than people said it would. So I've played Metroid 2 a bunch of times. I'm familiar with the basic setup of the map. Um, and I've seen the streams, so I, I kind of know where to go already. I'm not going to get lost for the sake of, like, 
making the game last longer. But I think that's better, honestly, because, I mean, you don't really... You're not necessarily watching for me to get lost and have a hard time. You're just kind of watching to, to watch it, I guess. Sorry, I'm looking at chat for a second. Other chat, not, not Twitch chat, because I actually have two open, as I mentioned before. Yeah, it, 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 I can't imagine the amount of work that went into getting this game looking and sounding as nice as it is. Not to mention it plays really smoothly. Runs great. I got hit. And uh, one personal thing... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, missiles. Uh, how do I switch to those? No. There we go. Yeah, one thing I really like is that they actually, when they, they made this game with, like, the newer Metroid physics and not the Super Metroid and earlier one, because in the original three games, Samus was really floaty. She she got hit, she would get knocked back, like, from here to here. It was, it was, a lot of people like it. I personally prefer the newer games with these, like, tighter physics. Also, of uh, something nice is that you start out with a lot of uh, you start out with a lot of the uh, upgrades from like Zero Mission and the earlier games. Like you don't have to get the missiles; you start with them this time, which is something you actually had to get in the original Metroid 2. Plus the grip thing, which wasn't even a part of it at all. Actually, a lot of upgrades in this game were added in. So that's in a... So I think it's an Alpha Metroid. The Metroids in this game kind of, uh... They're kind of different from... There used to be, like, a refill over there. I guess it's not necessary anymore. Oh, wow, that's really rumbling. <laughs> Optimized rumbling. I like that they actually show the lava going down, too. That's really nice. So in Metroid 2, what it is is that there's lava preventing you from going on until you've... Uh, no, until you've destroyed all the Metroids in an area. Up, up there next to the map, you could see how many Metroids are left in the area I'm in. I can actually change that to show you how many are left total, but I'd rather have it stay the normal way. But yeah, the Metroids in this game are a little different. Like, it's implied that the, like, traditional Metroid, the big circular ball is actually just kind of like a larval stage. Again, if you've played Prime, you'll know that as well. And, um, that the forms you fight in this game are, like, what they look like after they properly develop and hatch. So that was the Alpha Metroid. Those were, like, the easy ones. And then you'll see, you'll see a lot more. So the map in this game is pretty neat. You can actually put a marker and then have it, like, just keep it there for when you ever, you need to go there, I guess. Uh, delete marker, there we go. You can see how many Metroids total, there's 54. That's got your playtime. Uh, you got the basic upgrades, and just like in Metro Super Metroid, you can actually disable them whenever you want. So you don't have to play with them. Can't disable the power suit, though. Uh, this, these are just options. Map. And then this game also has a lot of log files, too, which are really neat. Um, it essentially gives you a backstory on the Metroid series and this game in general, and it kind of fleshes it out a lot more. Like, here's the Alpha Metroid. The Alpha Metroid has gained immunity to cold temperatures. The loss of several nuclei within its green membrane have left it vulnerable to concussive weaponry. A plated exoskeleton partially covers it. This, organization, or, this organism emerges from the molting of its larval form. Though aggressive, it is relatively weak at this stage, and its new appendages have yet to grow to their full length and strength. I could read all of them, but not right now. Let's let's we'll go gradually. I'm uh, oh, it's because I keep hitting the button there. There we go. I have to hit start. Yeah, the menu controls are a little like you got to know when to hit start and stuff.
the game has very it's modernized saving. Like in the older, like in the original, it would not um, refill your stats, like your missiles and health when you saved. Now it does. Also, the save points, I think, are a lot more frequent in this version than in uh, the original Game Boy version. Hold on, let me fix this window a bit, because... There we go. I could still see the edge of it in uh, OBS, and that was kind of annoying. So I'm pointed out these kind of look like Samus's helmet. I think that's kind of the point, actually, because this planet was inhabit it like the Chozo, the people that gave Samus her powers. Like, they, um, they're the ones who created the Metroids, and they also, I'm assuming, created the life forms on this planet as well, which is probably why this, this weird bug looks like it just has a large, wide version of Samus's helmet. So this is the first, uh, Ruins area, I think. <clears throat> I forget if it's as prominent in this version, but in the original Game Boy version, like, the going through the, ru like, Ruins are, like, one of the major parts of the game. It's where most of the upgrades are. I can't go down there yet. Yeah, the shows are the bird people. I like what they did with the soundtrack. The Metroid Metroid 2's original soundtrack is actually very, like... There's only, like, two or three songs. And the rest is just, like, ambient beeps and boops. So they actually went through the trouble of, like, kind of creating that... Recreating those ambient sounds while also making, like, a new soundtrack altogether. I know there's some, like, Prime and Super Metroid remixes later on in this game. Oh, when you get a new entry, you could open it immediately. This temple stands at the base of a hollow mountain. The statues carved stones, and its solid design attests that the structure was built to be a sanctuary, possibly with religious significance. The temple has withstood the test of time, showing the building knowledge and experience of the Chozo. Scans detect the presence of stationary robotic entities placed at strategic points inside the structure. No control signals are detected. These units are operating autonomously. It's the Golden Temple. Oh, but then you have to unpause it. Now, like, they even redid it with, like, the, uh, Metroid Zero Mission Chozodia aesthetic. Like, it's got the, uh, the bricks and stuff that you would blow up in that game at the end. They redesigned these, like, little gun turrets to be, like, bird faces. Press X and Morph Ball mode to deploy. So I've been told that they apparently made bomb jumping a lot easier in this game, which, yes, that's definitely the case. Yeah, wow, that's really easy to do. In Metroid, in the previous Metroid games, it's pretty hard. Especially Super Metroid and, uh, Fusion. Or, yeah, those two. Zero Mission is a little easier. 
Is the music supposed to stop playing? Uh-oh. Hold on. I don't think that's supposed to happen. And that that might be my that might be something to do with my computer, I don't know. Uh restart from my save. There we go. Yeah, this game made bomb jumping really easily. Wait, no. Oh, no. What? Oh, that's switching the missiles. Like, I'm barely pressing with any rhythm there, and it's working. They added a lot to this game, and one thing I really appreciate is that they didn't just add it. What? Oh. Neat. One thing I really appreciate is that they, they didn't just add stuff to the game, but they made the game utilize it well. It's like... When you think of remakes, a lot of times they add in new shit and then not give you, like, enough reason to utilize it or make the game too easy with it. Like, um... Super Castlevania 4 comes to mind. Because they make you be able to whip in all directions, but you don't really need... It becomes so useful that you don't need the sub-weapons then. And, but yet they keep them in, just because it was there originally. And also, uh, Metal Gear Solid. I think the uh, GameCube version, Twin Snakes, that was like the same thing. It was really easy because it added in a lot of Met uh, Metroid, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2's like, mechanics and stuff. So it became really easy to use it. Or easy... It, the game became too easy because they didn't build the game around those mechanics. They just kind of put them in there and said, you can use them in Metal Gear Solid 1. really nice too because it's like these puzzles feel like they belong in a Metroid game. They don't feel like something someone tacked on just for the hell of it. something might happen if I go in there or on that thing uh, oh there's a path I missed over there I am gonna be trying to go for a hundred percent in this game just cuz I usually go 100% at least once and I might as well do it while I'm streaming it I think, um, there's something over here that maybe... Oh. The, the switching missiles thing is kind of weirding me out because... I have it set to a different button than what, like, you would expect. Actually, wait. Because, yeah, uh, usually it's R, but R, this, this, and this one kind of locks your aiming. I think this is the spider ball. Nope, charge beam. Which is nice, because the charge beam wasn't in the original Metroid 2. So it's nice that they, like, added it in. The original Metroid 2 was kind of weird, because you could actually only have one beam upgrade at a time. And they actually made it so that you can obtain each one as many times as you wanted.
That's still there. That's neat. A lot of people don't know about that trick. If you charge and then go into morph ball mode, uh, it, it like auto drops a bunch of bombs. Also, I just noticed the like little debris that flies out of the enemies when they get hit. That's really neat. I actually didn't know that was there. I just figured. do the way it was intended, or I could just bomb jump up there. <laughs> I think that... Is that the spider ball? Oh, my voice cracked there. Is that the, was that the spider ball? I'm suddenly getting a craving for for uh, Reese's Puffs. Anyone else eat those? Because I have I've been eating them the last couple weeks for breakfast. They're so good. I don't know why I stopped eating them. <laughs> yeah, the spider ball is definitely this way. Weird. Was that there in the original? I thought I'm pretty sure that was in a statue originally. You don't eat cereal anymore. I actually um, I eat them. I eat it sometimes. Now I try to keep it varied though. I'll have oatmeal some days. Some days I, I generally wake up late, so a lot of times instead of having breakfast, I'll just have uh, lunch. Oh wait, wait what? No. Oh there we go. It's both the L buttons. Sometimes when I wake up late, I'll have, like, a tuna sandwich, just because I really like tuna, I guess. And then some days I'll have oatmeal or eggs instead. I'm pretty sure there was a Metroid down there. I don't know. I guess maybe the, they moved it. Or not. I just saw the egg there, and I thought... Or I saw the shell, and I thought it was a Metroid. Wait. Alright, wait. I think there's a way to get up there easily. No? Hold on. Yeah. I love the background work they did with this and actually having it look like there's an environment out there. Because in Metroid 2 Game Boy, this was all black. It was, there was nothing here. Uh, why am I firing? So there's three left in this, uh, area. I like oatmeal, but, um... I don't know, I'm actually getting kind of sick of it. I like cream of wheat better. Come on. Why is it not working? Okay. Alright, that's not working. They definitely made the spider ball a little more finicky with how it sticks to surfaces in this game. It'll be a lot easier later, because later I could bomb jump, or I could jump in a morph ball form. I 
I like cream of wheat because it's more substantial than oatmeal, in my opinion. Oatmeal is very... It's too watery when I make it. Which could probably be solved by using less water. But then it just doesn't feel like there's enough there. Uh, did I not go anywhere? Aside from that hidden path, which I should probably go back for, actually. Eggs are pretty good. I have them uh, sunny side. Or over easy, rather. I know it's sunny side's not really the right term for it. Um, I have them hard-boiled sometimes, and I have them scrambled. Hmm. Eggs, bacon, and hash browns, yeah. Breakfast sausage is good, too. do here I I feel like there's something I could do to open it now but I don't know what uh... maybe not maybe I have to come back later I've done all I can around here for now. Eggs, yes. I actually have, um... Well, I mean, you know this, because uh, the person I'm talking to specifically. But, um... Yeah, there's, there's an egg-related game that I'm going to probably stream at some point. Probably only for maybe like 20, 30 minutes, but it's uh, it's really interesting. I mean, there's definitely goodies up here. There's al there always is. And there is in the original Metroid, too. Unless there isn't, in which case I'm just wasting everyone's time. I forget which button, um... Also, sorry for swearing. I mean, I, I know most people don't care, but, like, I, I don't want to rely on swearing too early on. Uh, keyboard. No, not keyboard settings. Joypad settings. X. Alright. Damn it. Trying to see if that wall was breakaway, but it, I guess it wasn't. I still missed a lot of it. Uh, do I really want to go all the way around again? They did? So did they actually know it was a game, or did they just, like, link the photo to it and be like, Hey, look at this funny box art. It's got an egg on it. Oof.
Yep, what did I tell you? Secrets. I suppose that was worth it. Come on. You know what, I'll get the map. Like, off stream, maybe. Not don't worry about it right now. I do want to perfect the map, too, just because, you know, I'm a, I, I like doing that. It's very satisfying to have the full map done. But, uh, let's, let's move on for now. Uh, so it was like a meme where they were just posting images and, and the egg game came up. I mean, to be fair, the game the game pretty much is going to be kind of like a meme. <laughs> am I heading towards the dead end? Yes, I am. See, I'm still not getting used to that. I should probably change the control a bit. Breeding grounds. This area spans a custom-built ecosystem that favors the growth of Metroids. The terrain itself is dangerous. Tendrils growing along the ground release extremely corrosive chemicals. Opportunistic predators and scavengers can recognize this as an ideal feeding ground, taking advantage of injured or dead animals. The presence of at least one Metroid is expected when venturing in these habitats. The tendrils are determined to be of artificial origin, synthesized through technolog technologically advanced methods. They absorb, absorb nutrients from dead matter. Interesting. Interesting. Hoping to cheap it out. I think in the original Metroid 2, it was possible to do that somehow. Get up here. I would say yeah, you're pretty lucky to, to if you have the, of this already. Um, I'm sure there's other there's you know there's places you could get it regardless of how many times it's taken down. I just realized I never changed the thing. It still says I'm playing Freedom Planet on on Twitch. Uh, I'll fix that in a sec. Hold on. Oh, this sucks. There we go. Did it dodge my missile? Unbelievable. I have a lot of health, so I'm fine with the... Uh... Oh, no. Actually, I don't. Not anymore. Oh, come on. Oh man, that was rough. I uh, I was not paying attention. I 
I mean, that's the other thing, too. Um, if you've never played a Metroid game before, this is actually, like, even though it's not actually a, an official game, it is a great place to start with the series. Like, it's towards the beginning of the storyline. It's standalone. You don't need to play any of the other games to know what's happening. And um, it's really fun. And, like, if you like it, then, you know, you go get the other Metroid games, the actual ones. No. No. No, 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 no. I need to refill before I fight that thing. They are. What are they? T what are they talking about? I should mention something about Pokemon. Um, I'm looking forward to Sun and Moon. <laughs> That's really all I can say about Pokemon. Um, I'm kind of burnt out on that series right now, actually, because I've I was burnt out on it when the last games came out, the Gen 3 remakes. But um. I've been, like, this past couple months, I've been just tired of it. I'm hoping to, that by not playing it for a few months, I'll be ready. I'll be back in the mood when Sun and Moon come out. Uh, I also have the Pokemon Uranium fan game, which I might stream, but not anytime soon. Like, not until after Sun and Moon, which I can't, I can't stream 3DS games, but... After I play Sun and Moon, I'll probably play, uh, I'll probably stream Uranium. Went down a lot easier. That should be all of them in this area now. Oh, that sweet rumble. Can you hear it? The weird thing is, one of the complaints I heard about this Xbox Mini Controller is that uh, it does not have a good rumble feature, but I don't know, it works fine for me. That and the uh, triggers aren't that good, which I kind of disagree. I kind of agree with. They are very um, they're responsive, but they're also they don't have a lot of give to them. Yet to get wrecked. What time is it? Nine twenty-three. Probably go until uh, three hours, which is another like 40 minutes. All right, I gotta pay attention to that. All right, so green, you just stand still. Yellow fires down and spreads, and I think the other one just goes over you. This one. Yep. Wait, no. I'm already- I'm already messing it up. Oh, not blue as lasers. I'm thinking purple. My missile's on still. Yeah, that's a super missile door, so I gotta remember to come back here later. So I did pretty good there. I think I got just about everything. I probably missed a couple secrets, but, you know, I'll come back for them later. 
I'll probably have like a section of this playthrough at the end des just dedicated to getting my st getting 100% of the map. Also, I don't know when I'm gonna like stream time-wise. I'm probably not gonna go for late streams. Like this might be as late as I go in terms of like streaming. Like maybe I'll stream up until midnight at some points, but probably no later than that. Midnight my time. I'm Eastern Standard. Um, honestly, I think I might aim for more afternoon streams, especially if I'm gonna do longer like one game focus streams, just because um. It's more the f kind of the free, quiet time of the day. But I mean, we'll see. I I it really depends on, on a few factors. Let's play it by ear. So before this area had lava in it, now it's all drained. And now I can go farther down. Oh, wait, no. I got the spider ball. Okay. I guess it's supposed to be a hint that uh, those those bricks over there uh, break. I don't think I can actually go up there. I think there's a... Federation Force isn't selling well, and it's an eh game in Japan. Yeah. In Japan, uh, it didn't sell well at all. It only sold, um, what is it, I think, like, 25% of its stock, which is really not good. But again, Metroid isn't as popular in Japan as it is in America. It probably sold a bit better over here, though I do know that, you know, the game does have a lot of negative att attention to it because of... because it's just not what people wanted. Honestly, I played the demo... And I really enjoyed it. Not the Blast Ball part, I mean, like, the actual Federation Force demo. I liked it. And apparently my opinion's not that we're off the common base, like, from what people who have said have played the full game. It's good, it's just not the game people wanted. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like I skipped something, but I guess I didn't. Also, I keep forgetting I have the charge shot. Seven Metroids detected in the area. This doesn't look like a... Nope, there's, there's spikes. Yeah, that's another comeback to this area. <laughs> Oof. Ruins? I think we're at the ruins. I think I need a cushion for this chair. It's getting uncomfortable. <laughs> well, uh, okay. I was not prepared for that. That was pretty good. I like that. It was very clever. And then the eggs over there. Or shell, it's not an egg. Hydro station. This massive facility at the center of this reservoir... Oh, the massive facility at the center of this reservoir filters and pumps water through enormous pipelines. These pipes come out of the comple complex and disappear into the surrounding rocks, presumably to supply other buildings further down the cave system with clean water. Though abandoned, most of it remains functional. Robotic activity is detected inside. 
Yeah, these actually, like, there was no buildings in the original version of this game. It was just ruins and caves. All the stuff was added specifically for this version. So, of course, let's go the long way around. See, it's worth it. I'm not wasting my time, guys. Don't worry. There's an issue with making new Star Fox F0 Metroid games. Yeah. It's... I don't know. It's it's so easy to like go off on, on something regarding Nintendo, and it's just like... We've heard it all. I, I, I really don't need to say anything about their weird business practices. I would love a new F-Zero game. I actually haven't finished X and GX yet. I've never even played GX. I have it. I've never played it, which is really weird, because I love F-Zero. I've just never gotten around to it. I would love to play, to finish X and then uh, play GX, and then I would love a new one for, like, the 3DS. That'd be great. Going so low. Pattern. It's like um, if you've ever seen Game Center CX, when uh, Chief Arino, that's that's his, it's Chief Arino, not not Chief Arino. <laughs> um, when Arino he uh, he gets an enemy into a pattern, he always, he's always like, oh, they're in a pattern, they're in a pattern. I love Game Center CX. It's like one of my favorite shows. I almost feel like there's something hidden there, but I guess not because uh, I would have seen it then on the map. That was a mistake. I should not have jumped underwater. Just because... Yeah, moving is really slow. Yeah, F-Zero, uh, SNES is actually really fun. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Alright. I don't think I'm supposed to be down there just yet. Also, the water level go down when I destroyed that thing? I think it did. Really nice, uh, Brinstar remix.
I'm stuck in the pipe. Oh, these things don't go down easy. Launches me. Yep. Wait, 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 no, no, let me back in there. All right, good. Uh, I guess I can't break out of this. Nah, I probably have to come a different way. So missiles are definitely time to thing to take those out. Blah, blah, blah. Have you seen how he reacts to things? Who are Reno? There's, there's something hidden over here. Yep, there it is. get out of here. Oh, I had to break open the side. <laughs> I saw you there. Wave beam. Beam can now go do solid objects. Very useful. Feel like there's gonna be stuff hidden here. Probably not, though. This is pretty good. I'm really liking this. Uh, I don't know how to go down there. This looks like something like I'd come through the pipe in one area, but I don't, I don't think that's what it is. I feel like there's like a hidden passageway down. Yep, I knew it. Yes, it's a good game. GUD.
that. And, uh, oh man. Alright, I guess I gotta figure out how to get up there now. This game's... The weird thing about this game is that even though the squares only have, like, the single circle on it in the map for upgrades, it's, there's more than one in some squares. So you gotta know, like, where to look, I guess. I guess you can't go through this way, which confuses me because I don't know which way to go now. That's another thing this remake did really well. It's add, add a more open-world sense to it, kind of like, you know, the other Metroid games. Because, I mean, Metroid 2 was pretty linear. Alright. Really? It's not too hard to navigate. I mean, it's it's hard right now for me because this map is essentially all new to me. Like, even when I play Metroid 2, I can't remember that map at all. I have to usually look it up. Upgrade, speed shoes, nope, high jump boots. But I can't jump in morph ball form yet. Well, that's definitely gonna help. Actually, the last day or so, I've been play replaying uh, Wario Land 3 for Game Boy Color. Someone gave me a copy of it on a virtual console. And, uh, that game is a very, like, it almost kind of has, like, a Metroid style to it, because, um, you, you explore stages multiple times for, like, new treasures and stuff. You're given upgrades for your abilities, even though, um, it's weird, because, like, it's, it's abilities he has in other games already, but in this game you have to earn them. But it actually works pretty well, because it, like, makes you feel like, okay, well, I, I could come back here when I'm stronger, or have a different ability and get different treasures and stuff. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, I missed something. Alright, there's wall jumping. I forgot about that. This is not easy, though. I did not know wall jumping was a thing in Super Metroid until, like, almost at the end of my first playthrough because, um, it's so hard to do it in that game. Knew it. Yep, them Wario's. I wish I kinda wish they'd make a new Wario land game. It's been a really long time. But I mean then again, it, at least Wario is still in actual games. <laughs> Unlike Samus 
and and anyone in F zero. Why didn't they keep the ability upgrades in, like, Wario Land 4, you mean? Um, I don't know. I feel like Wario Land 3 was purposely made to feel more like, kind of like a Metroid game. It's kind of like how Kirby and the Amazing Mirror is, like, a Metroid game, technically, with how it's set up. It's all WarioWare. The truth is, it's not even WarioWare anymore. They haven't made a WarioWare game since the DS one. Or the Wii one. I don't know, they made Game & Wario. I guess that kind of counts. I don't know. Maybe they'll make one for the NX. Did I get everything down there? Yeah, I guess so. I haven't played Wario Land Shake It. I, w I really want to play that someday. That, that game looks really fun. Pretty sure there's a drop down point somewhere up here. There it is. Wireland 3 is a grim game overall, if you think about it. Mm. Uh, mm. A little bit? I, I really don't. How? how? Explain. Like, I, I wouldn't understand how, how you would see that as a grim game. Boss fight. Yep. Alright. Remember it too late. Yeah, this boss is completely different than in uh, how it was in Metroid 2. <laughs> Originally, I think you just kind of bombed it. Now you actually have to bomb it and make it like ricochet into these uh, things. Which I'm not gonna do. I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm so dead. Done. Thankfully, there's a save point right there, so not too bad. I I'm sure there'll come a point where I die and I haven't saved in like a month, <laughs> or we, or or like a couple of minutes, an hour. Arachnus, a territorial organism, its armored hide is very resilient and requires at least a high voltage of dis a high voltage discharge to harm it. Attacking anything less will, with anything less will only agitate the creature. 
When enraged, it will roll into a ball and attempt to ram its aggressor. Bombs might be able to propel it in this state. Its saliva, its saliva has flammable properties, and its claws can vibrate at high frequencies to launch sonic waves. Scan detected has acquired a Chozo Relic, granting it unnatural vigor. It's vigor, right? Not vigor. Yeah. So what you gotta do is shoot enough times, then it goes into, like, the rolling mode, and then when it's in the rolling mode, you, you bomb it until it hits the electricity. There we go. One more should do it. Spring ball, press A in morph ball mode. That's the power-up I was waiting for. I could jump with the ball. Next save point will be where I stop for tonight. Cause I am getting I am getting kinda tired. Wait a minute, what? Oh nice. I said next save point, and then of course the next one's broken. <laughs> Alright, Wario Land 3 is at least kinda grim because you're in a plane, crashes, find some musical acts, get trapped in it, and some big spooky shadow guy tells you you need to do this thing to get out, and you do the thing. Yeah, but the thing is, the guy tries to, the scary guy tries to portray himself as a good guy at first, even though he ends up being the main villain. It is kind of messed up though, to like think that like, oh man, if, if, you, if Wario didn't do this, he'd be stuck in that music box forever. I think it's worse the fact that the enemies in the game are all, like, people, were all people that got, like, m turned into monsters by the, uh, main villain. I have a feeling there's, like, something hidden under here, but I can't... Or not. Maybe I was just wrong. The middle levels aren't scary, but towards the end of the middle of the levels, the tone of the game switches and the final boss takes a cake. I actually do kind of agree with that, actually. Um, the later levels in Wario Land 3 do get really, like, weird and spooky. Like, there's that castle where it's, like, just kind of messed up in the inside. There's the hole, the giant hole. There's the dark forest, and then there's the warped void, where it's literally just, like, a messed up dimension. So yeah, I could kind of definitely see where you're coming from there. I mean, it's like in uh, Kirby 64, there's, there's a planet that looks like Earth. Alright, sorry, I'm, I'm completely losing track of what I'm doing here. That's why I'm probably gonna stop soon. And there's a save point, but, um, wait, let me see what's outside first. 
Because I've looped around now. The answer looks like nothing. Looks like I'm back where I started. Uh, so, there's definitely still stuff inside there that I haven't gotten. But, um, you know what? I think I'm going to stop here. Because I've been streaming for almost three hours now and I'm getting kind of tired. So, yeah, that was a good first stream back after not doing it for over a year. <laughs> I'm really happy that people decided to come out and watch. Thank you so much for coming by. Um, I can't make you come back again, but I will mention on Twitter when I'm going to do another stream. I might mention a few other places, too, see if I could pull in people from elsewhere as well. Um, my next stream might be earlier, too. I might do it, like, tomorrow afternoon instead of evening. Um... I do plan on playing this game and Freedom Plant to completion, as well as a bunch of other games, and I'm hoping that I could stream, keep streaming more regularly, so, you know, thank you all for coming. I'm really, I'm really glad you guys did. Thank you. And, uh, I'll see you guys soon. You have a, you all have a good night.